My dad is was an architect, uh, so I always kind of grew up around the profession. So I kind of got a good feeling for this is this is what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, but it was really. Um, when I studied in London, uh, we had a travel abroad uh, study program in London. I did my first year of grad school. That is really what just like generated my love, I guess, for the profession. It was always something I felt comfortable with, good with, familiar with, but just uh, traveling and uh, seeing the world and going throughout Europe after that program just changed it all for me. Traveling and seeing the world really uh, spurred my passion for the for the profession. Um, when I moved to Arizona, I got involved with the AIA the, the first week that I moved down here. Um, I didn't know anyone locally, and it was a way to get connected. Uh, immediately got hooked up with the associates group, and then that led to eventually becoming the associates director, uh, and just a number of opportunities opened up uh, from, from those engagements focus on enjoying life um, and you know I guess that then leads to kind of a purpose-driven life but in in the moments of of practice in the profession just trying to take a step back and make sure that I'm truly loving what I'm doing uh, happy with the results happy with the process just happy with my relationships within and outside the profession um, that really kind of drives things for me it's uh, listening, really actively listening to our client. What motivates them? How do they work? How do they utilize their spaces? What's their culture? Hearing from them really kind of elevate things about themselves that they probably didn't understand as well. Uh, it just takes someone actively listening. And then also listening to like the site, whatever the project is located, really understanding the characteristics of the site and then the community or context that that site uh, yeah. is within kind of just drives drives everything uh, from from there, like do my design thinking uh, away from like a typical work environment, mm -hmm. uh, just because you got all these ideas bouncing around. It's a lot of I do a lot of writing uh, to help um, actually spur design concepts, which then leads to diagramming, which will set like the rules for the project in my mind. Uh, and then, then from there, it's mostly like computer generated uh, digital modeling, but uh, crude sketching, <laughs> just again, that's that creative process of whether it looks like chicken scratch or is, uh, our beautiful drawings, it's still that act of, of making. Uh, it's still pretty important to me. Collaboration is, is so important. I think a lot of people instantly start talking about what type of tools are being used in collaboration. It's the simple things that make the collaboration work. It's list, again, listening and then under, really understanding when is the right time to engage the right people uh, in the process to make sure everyone's contributing at the right time and everyone's engaged at the right time. Thinking, of, thinking through the timing and the listening is uh, the most important part. I really appreciate the work that they do. He's done and it's influential. I always look for those that are doing great work to kind of inspire you. So like his, the intentionality of, of his work, you know, there's no wasted moves. It's really purposeful and beautiful the use of materiality and light. It's things that inspire you and looking for inspiration in all sorts of places. Like, so thinking about how, how does his work align with the listening part of uh, developing concepts with the site, the, the client and the context, all those things kind of work together create the storytelling to create create the project probably not a major impact but just he's great personal side it's probably maintaining the proper balance in in life to again go back to what i said uh happiness being a, a parent two kids being a husband prioritizing uh those important relationships along with the work that i love to do those it's a challenging thing to navigate and then professionally I, you take a step back and I, I think what's exciting about where we work and the work we do we're able to engage in the climate discussion architecturally and hopefully have an impactful role in some solutions but just global context is a challenge find what motivates you um, and build your career around that uh, it's your career it will be your career uh, post-graduation so to be an active kind of participant in uh, how you're developing within the profession i, I know of, of people that are you know just allow allow work to kind of push them along whatever the assignment is that's what they're going to your wants your values to make sure that you're pushing your career forward in the direction you want to go because you could continue to, along that path 10 years down the road be like oh this is not what i want to be just always letting yourself be the north star and guide you forward um, just be intentional